just recently stumbled upon this uh, YouTuber, this uh, HK PSG one shooter. I uh, happened to go to a park that uh, he went to and uh, one thing that uh, he mentioned was a home mixture that you could do for no CM repellent. And uh, there's a bunch of comments that talk about how great it is for mosquitoes and all kinds of other stuff. Um, I'll pop the link in the description and also try to throw a card up for this user. But uh, so a couple things. Uh, this website also references um, this recipe and has a slightly different recipe than the one in the description. So that user actually pinned this comment from another user that talks about 500 milliliters of both witch hazel or witch hazel and Listerine uh, and then one whole tablespoon of uh, tea tree oil. So that seems like quite a bit. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I have this 8 ounce uh, spray bottle that I'm going to use and um, the website uh, that actually references the same youtuber actually does a slightly different recipe I'll have this just link in the description also like I said but uh, basically one part Listerine one part witch hazel and then just a few drops of uh, tea tree oil uh, the other person definitely talked about uh, you know quite a bit more but I guess it's 500 milliliters is what the original commenter had so I'm probably gonna just mix up half a cup of each of these and then, uh, you know, make some room at the top for uh, this tea tree oil. But, uh, so, as of today, this is $19 worth of stuff. So, I mean, you can buy a lot of mosquito repellent for this. So, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Other than, you know, it's natural. I don't know. Anyways, my daughter gets tore up with mosquitoes pretty bad. And uh, I've been doing a, a good bit of hanging out in the woods myself riding and uh, my legs are starting to get torn up a little bit more but uh, anyways I figure I'll try to mix this up and uh, see what happens here so I was going to use the scale at first but I think that's probably just not worth it so I'm going to do some tea tree oil uh, probably first just to see so the website actually says two or three drops, so I think I'll start off with, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why not? We'll go a little bit more to try to get it closer to uh, the uh, main commenter's um, post of uh, a little bit more is better of the tea tree oil. Talking about uh, basically that. Uh, Whenever he tried it initially, he didn't really get good results from it. Uh, I guess he's a big golfer. But, uh, all right, so I'm going to try uh, half a cup here. Oh, yeah, good old Listerine. That's a fine smell. I'm going to try to get that just below. Oh, man, I'm making a mess too, Bo. All right, so I think that's just below half a cup. Well, at least uh, whenever I'm spilling it, it smells good. cover up all my morning breath I currently got oh yeah all right, let's do the uh, witch hazel thing and then uh, I guess I'm gonna try it out and report back I'll let you know how it goes all right, let's do half a cup here I guess witch hazel, I don't know a ton about it, but I guess it's good for soothing uh, itches and stuff. I don't know, man. So I guess this kind of helps for, you know, after you've been bit, even to uh, make it not so itchy. But I guess all three together is a repellent. They actually talk about how uh, they'll spray it in the bushes where they have no seams, and I guess they'll scatter. And then uh, other other people reported back that uh, they, uh, you know, would forget to spray like part of their body, like one arm or something, and uh, they would just get uh, tore up on the other part of their body. All right, let's shake this puppy up. Let's see how it smells here. 
I mean, it smells kind of nice. It smells like fresh breath. 